Ni aje wase karibuni hapa kwa Teched and today we are going to be talking about the Oppo Reno 8T 5G. Officially the phone was launched into the Kenyan market na hata pia pale kwa global market ilikuwa launched. One of the things that I was very keen kucheke pale kwa hiyo launch ni for how much will the phone be retailing because at a less kuya kwanza where we received the Oppo Reno 8T 5G one of the things I was keen to even mention to the to the team is if they price this phone vizuri itakuwa because no matter how good a phone is crafted you know at the end of the day mfuko ndio nalitamine mfuko ndio nalitamine kama utapita nayo ama hautapita nayo we're going to talk about that you know even as we come to the end of the video the and to answer the question value for money lakini like nataka kumention kitu about the uh, the Oporino series na hii wase wenye wamekuwa kwa uh, kwa game ama umetumia Oppo phones for quite some time unaweza kwa umecheki hizi vitu for example when they launched the Oppo Reno 5 series walituletea Oppo Reno 5 then wakatuletea Oppo Reno 5F hiyo F why na di note a a certain version of the phone that has uh, some stripped down features of the main device that is priced alternately cheaper but nakupatia at least you know some of the of the features of the big phone are zingine stripped down but nakupatia phone yenye inakupatia value uh, at a cheaper cost but now for the first time we're to introduce here another uh, letter that is the T to denote that kuna kitu ingine wana introduce so kuna the Oporino F uh, the the Oporino whatever then the F and then now we have the Oporino the number then the T series na hii T series as we will see in this Oporino 8T kuna features flani zenye hata haziko kwa the, the the phone of that series but they are a bit higher others are a bit trimmed down so the, the Oppo Reno 8T series is is a new line within the Oppo series that that you know gives us a phone that you know we're going to see where it fares but it's still an Oppo mid ranger na kama kawaida Oppo Reno series na kuangana but yeah one of the best phones out there now it is one of their most moving line of phones especially here in the Kenyan market now there are a couple of things as me kwa ziki stand out for me especially with the Oppo Reno 8T and i remember the first time really handle the device it was like a love affair you know i loved this device but now the temperatures have gone down the climate has gone down and i can now be able to look at this phone keenly i've been using it for uh now i think a week some of the things that have really stood and popped out for me about this phone and i can tell you from the first day i laid my hands on this beauty it was still beautiful and let me tell you it is still even beautiful today one of the things and it's a it's a fast for the Oppo Reno series is the 3D curved display not only is this a 3d curved display it also has a 3d curved back so the way this works is because of your radius ya curvature zina meet pale kwa frame ikupatie kitu yenye iko fit iko neat na iko easy to hold and also uh, you know use and interact with for longer parts of the day e 3d curved display which is an industry first for the Oporino series ni 120 hertz now again the Oporino 8 ni 90 hertz but the Oppo Reno 8T 5G is a 120 hertz curved display so you're getting to enjoy ile smoothness na fluidity so so not only is this a beautiful phone to look at but it also has beautiful features inside it's like one of those uh times where you get a, a lady who's not only beautiful on the outside but she's beautiful on the inside and that's the Oppo Reno 8T 5G you know has amazing uh, uh display specs it's a full hd plus amoled display na you know kwa wale watu wenye huu enjoy content ya netflix um Uh, Instagram, Twitter, pale una watch Facebook Reels, watch my movies kwa phone yako. This will be one phone you will enjoy. Not only because of the display but because of how thin it is and how lightweight it is which means that unaweza i handle for a long time hata bila kuchoka. You know some of us tumezoea masimu mzito mzito. So even for the time that I used this um, you know it was really amazing to understand how lightweight it is. Hata vile wame craft e uh, camera bump you know they, they 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 a lot of thought went into this device and that's why 
it is still stunning for me even till date now wase wote wenye you know how many pattern you could make device work like eh hey, manze hii ni simu gani simu ni ni fit ni kali we even fought for it here at the studio lakini hii simu ni imetengenezwa fit that that's what i can tell you it's amazingly crafted na some of the things that empower that craftiness zinakusaidia uwe enjoy the device now not only does it has a beautiful display a fast for oppo that's the 3d curved display for the reno series but it also has for the first time in an oppo device the 108 megapixel camera let me pick a pick a picture na hii phone na naweza kuambia that it takes good photos nimetumia pia live live uh, you know portrait mode it's able to blur uh, when you kick in that 108 megapixel cause uh, i mean Simu zote zina kongana big megapixels does not always take that high resolution by default it and it binds uh, so in this we have the non binning technology non binning means divides by the factor of 9 to give you a 12 megapixel photo by default lakini uki turn on pale high res kwa settings za camera it it bumps in that 108 megapixel gives you that more detail that extra clarity na you know picha zake ni fit picha zake ni mbaya you know this uh, 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 pictures you're going to enjoy taking enjoy uh, even sharing with your friends you you know hapo wamekuwa wamekuwa na masimu fit zinachukua picha fit and the fact that they've even bumped this uh, to 108 megapixel means that you're going to get even much more amazing photographs so when you look at the Oppo Reno 8 it's it's actually an upgrade when it comes to camera from the 64 megapixel on that now to the 108 megapixel on this some of the letdowns for me is that this phone yet with all the that amazing camera technology but as you kuchukulia 4K at 30 frames pa second ama 1080 at 60 so wasiwa video hapo uh, mtakuwa me trade off but wasiwa camera muta enjoy sana because it takes amazing photos iko na hata you know your 40x uh, uh, microscope so you can really go in uh, you know i wish you'd have given us maybe an ultra wide lakini pia hiyo hiyo 40x uh, microscope you know you're able to enjoy playing around with your device your device is not only just supposed to be a device here kufanya serious work it's supposed to be something that helps you to relax you know as you enjoy some of the amazing things in a camera snapdragon 695 5g chipset you don't name power the 5g version of this phone that's a a, a good uh, mid range processor so you know it will handle your tasks very well i mean nimekuwa nikitumia sija sija complain you know and trading down from from the device that i currently use you know i've not seen quite a lot of differences which means that this phone uh you know fits that that ka, ka, ka smoothness it's got a 32 megapixel selfie uh powered up by that 695 so the the selfie camera and the front camera uh gives you amazing photos that uta enjoy over time this is one of those phones as i said earlier that is not only beautiful on the outside but she's beautiful on the inside as i said nilikuwa very much interested kuona how much will oppo price this phone for and you know drum roll uh, the oppo reno 8t 5g goes for 49999 your shilling is due at apeleka wapi but it goes for 50 gs and number one, for me that's already cheaper than the oppo reno 8 5G launch price because it launched it launched at 60 Gs. Now, this is priced a bit cheaper. Now, remember I said ET line is a whole new ball game because it's not the F which was a trade down, but it's a it's a line where it has some features that are even better than 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 the highest uh, line in that process in that phone line. Uh so for the camera, the 3D 120 hertz curved display, the 67 watt for 4800 milliampere battery that's even better than the Oppo Reno 8 and sometimes i say for you know when you, especially if you come call linear Oppo wako na simu zina charge ridiculously fast like for this with the 67 watt from 0 to 144 minutes that's ridiculous na hiyo ndio power ya super vuk but not only have they given you a uh, fast charging super fast charging 
they also give you in the Oppo Reno 8T a bigger battery. So you know now sometimes you know you don't just want super fast charging because of the bang in a charger killer time you also want a phone that will last you longer because it has a bigger battery and with some of the amazing battery tech and your oppo uh, uh, do like the battery health engine you know you're able to enjoy that fluidity so overally does this phone uh, stand at the value for money when i look at the the mobile phone industry in Kenya right now man the prices for phones are off the roof now the fact that this phone uh, launched at 50 means that it was relatively pri priced well it was priced well and when we look at the uh, all the amazing features that are coming together for this device I can say that it is value for money because this phone fits all the right boxes amazing display amazing battery and battery life and charging a powerful camera coupled up together with it a powerful chipset also with the 5g which is rolling out uh, very uh, fast here in kenya so uta uta phone in the future proof and the beauty full so that's our review of the oppo reno 8 t 5g we have loved this device. To follow pale kwa Instagram, apo tutakonarusha some of the pictures that uh, we are taking on this so you can get to see first hand the pictures that it takes. So follow us on Instagram or on Facebook Tech Ed Africa. Mtachiki pale zile pictures zetu tunachukua. But also don't forget to subscribe and like this video Tech Ed Africa on Facebook and YouTube. We bring you the best in tech reviews. It's a wrap from us guys kwa video. Now, peace out.